Welcome to Rico's Reading Room. Today I'll read a fun book about numbers called Seven Eight Nine. I know you'll love it. Seven Eight Nine by Tara Lazar, illustrated by Ross McDonald, creatively read by Rico. I was dozing in my chair when an urgent banging on my office door bolted me awake. It was six. Something had scared the pants off him. Seven is coming to get me," said Six. As a private eye, I'm used to his type. Numbers. They're always stuck in a problem. But I knew about this seven fella. He was odd. Take it easy, Six. I said, "What's Seven up to?" Word on the street is that Seven Eight Nine, and now he's after me," said Six. "Well, technically, he's always after you," I said. "There's five, then six, then seven. See, that proves it." I told Six not to panic. Stay here. I'll get you the root of this. I hope so," said Six. "I fear my days are numbered. First, I went looking for Eight. She's usually caught between Seven and Nine. I found her at the corner of Second Avenue and Fourth Street, but Eight knew nothing. Not a zilch. If it's true," Eight said, "then I'm next in line." In a flash, she took off her belt. Now Eight looked just like Zero. Good disguise. I needed a solid lead. I strolled into Cafe Uno, leaned on the counter, and ordered a slice of pie. B, the waitress, had the scoop. Yeah, I heard seven eight nine. She said. So you haven't seen nine around? I asked. Negative," said B. "He just disappeared." So nine was gone. I couldn't let seven be the one who got away. But I needed more data. I went to see Eleven. She and seven are like two peas in a pod. Seven couldn't have done it," said Eleven. "He's on vacation." "Are you sure?" I prodded. "I'm positive. I saw him leave." But if seven was gone, then where was nine? It didn't add up. Frustrated, I headed back uptown. That's when I saw him crossing the street. Finally, I put two and two together. I had to get back to the office. On the double, I told the driver. I busted through my office door and found Six taking forty winks. I have solved this numerical nonsense! I cried. I grabbed Six and turned him upside down. His true color was revealed. Just as I suspected, my client Six was really Nine. You had everyone worried, Nine. I said. Why did you say that seven eight nine? Because seven gets all the attention. Lucky seven, seven wonders of the world, Snow White and the seven dwarfs. Figures nine felt like he didn't measure up. Seven seven seven. It's like I don't exist. Folks hurry right past me to get on their way to ten. Don't even get me started on ten. Everyone thinks he's perfect. I zeroed in on nine. Are you kidding? You should be on cloud nine right now, happy as can be, the whole nine yards. How come? Asked nine. Because you've got nine lives. That's when eleven showed up. Look who's back! She said. It was seven. Um, stammered nine. No hard feelings, Seven, old Paul. Sure, let's not be divided, Seven said. 
Seven seemed awfully pleased for a number who had been framed. Why so happy, Seven? I asked. I just sailed the seven seas. I'm in seventh heaven. At last, everyone was back in order, and now I could take letter cases again. Letters can be wordy at times, but they're a okay in my book. The next day, while dozing in my chair, my phone bolted me awake. I'd recognize her voice anywhere. It was Chu, with another problem to solve. I've really got to change my number. The end. If you like my video, please hit the subscribe button down below. Thank you. Have an excellent day. See you soon.